Brooklyn District Attorney Eric Gonzalez announcing a major gang takedown today, charging over a dozen alleged gang members in connection to several fatal shootings in the borough. News 12 Janae Caldwell has more on what was uncovered. If you fire a gun in this county, you're going to pay a steep price. A stern message from Brooklyn District Attorney Eric Gonzalez that gun violence in this borough will not be tolerated. This as he announces the indictment of 17 alleged gang members. This investigation is centered around three street crews that decided to form an alliance. Gonzalez says the gangs FNO, PPP, and Yawa joined forces and were collectively known as YPF. By doing this, authorities say the gangs were not only able to increase their numbers in territory, but also maintain dominance in the areas of Brownsville, East New York, and Fort Greene. It's the gangs and the guns. Everyday New Yorker in this borough of 2.6 million people were held hostage by three gang crews. The gangs are believed to be responsible for multiple shootings that injured a total of 14 people and killing four of them. Authorities say those fatal incidents include the shooting of an 18 year old college freshman shot in an East New York bodega back in 2020 and another incident from that year where a 20 year old woman visiting from Virginia was shot at a sweet 16 party in Crown Heights. These guns were in the hands of bad people that did bad things to good people. Today, the alleged gang members are facing a number of charges, from murder to criminal possession of a weapon. Now officials say they're working to get more guns off the street. The alleged gang members range in age from 14 to 20 years old. Five of them are facing life sentences and the others could face up to 25 years behind bars. That's the latest here in downtown Brooklyn. Johnny Caldwell, News 12.